You go up there and say, God, you're not worthy of me doing anything for you. Uh, that's a depraved mind there. Amen. That's a depraved mind. Hallelujah. You know, you know the devil got him. Yeah. Amen. It's so true. Amen. Amen. It's the truth in I. I know even in my sickness sometimes I wanna hey, I've got to find something to try to do for God. Amen. Yes, Lord. Amen. Amen. As I get in my younger ages, I still want to try to find something to do for the Lord. Amen. And claim the old age yet. <laughs> you claim you don't mess with it. <laughs> you need to. It lives long enough to claim it. Yes, it. yes, it will. Yes, it will. It will claim it. Amen. <laughs> Show it. Amen. Just live. Just live long enough. Yeah, it'll get, it'll get you. And yeah, you be thinking you're still running, and all of a sudden you see a turtle passing you up. You know you done got old. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Praise God. Yahweh, we come before you, most holy Father, to say thank you. Thank you, Father, for the wonderful and great and wonderful word that you just gave us, Father. We thank you, Father, oh, Father, for your love, your mercy, and your grace, Father. And we just ask you, Father, to continue with us, Father, oh, Father, and help us, Father, to understand that word and to live it, Father, to be a doer of your word and your truth, Father. Help us to walk in the light, Father. And Oh, Father, not in darkness, Father, because we know where oh, the darkness is at. The, if the light comes, the darkness has got to go, Father. So, Father, help us be in your light, baby, in your Shekinah glory, Father. Help us be a light to this dying world, Father. Oh, Father, as you take so many of us out of the darkness, Father, we're asking you, Father, to take many, many more, oh, Father, out of the darkness, Father. Because we see, Father, so many people don't want to ask for forgiveness, won't. Do as you say, Father, hell bound, Father, oh, Father, and yes, Father, I got the crowd against it, Father. Oh, yes, Lord, well, I got the crowd against it, because it's so sad, Father. It's so sad. People are more concerned about, oh, Father, their own pleasures, about their sexual desires, Father, rather than serving you, Father, more concerned about money, filthy lucre, than serving you, Lord. Oh, Father, I cry out against that wicked and evil spirit, Father. Oh, Father, because we are our brother's keepers. Because out of one blood, you made us all, Father. And, Father, I know somebody when I was in sin, when I was in wickedness, Father, somebody was praying for me. Oh, yeah. Somebody was praying for me to come out, Father. Oh, yeah. Oh, Father, help us be likewise, Father. Yes, cry out, Father, Lord. against you, Father. Oh, Father, help us, Lord. In the name of your For the hour is so near of your return. It's not even an hour, it's the moment of your return is so near, Father. Thank you, Father. In the holy name of Yeshua, how we say it. We do say amen and amen. Thank the Lord again, Amen. For my place of being here today. Amen. Amen. I thank God for the word that we received last night. Apostle, how God used the apostle last night. We thank God how He used the apostle this morning. Amen. Word, Amen. We got to. Realize the hour that we're in and understand the truth of God and where we're going to go. I want to give honor to the late mother this morning. Amen. Thank God for sending her here this morning. It's a blessing. Amen. I have a living mother. Amen. 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 
A lot of people don't realize how blessed they are when they have a living mother. Amen. Amen. That's a blessing. Hallelujah. You know, sometimes I'll walk past the cemetery and I look over there to the right and I see, you know, mother's grave, aunt's grave, daughter's grave. You know, it's sad sometimes, you know, because I get a chance to remember, you know, the times that, you know, we would talk and we would laugh and joke, and I also remember times when we didn't laugh and didn't joke and were mad at one another, you know. Is we need to think about how much we would miss a person. You know, if something should happen to them. And I don't ever want nothing that I do to be that is bad or to be the last thing that I can remember about that person that I didn't help them or I didn't speak to them or I didn't show them love. Amen. Hmm. I want, you know, that's how come I think it's so important that we always have the spirit of Yeshua upon us at all times, amen, and don't let the devil get into us, with, you know, uh, where, where we're, you know, in arguments or fighting. Saying the wrong thing. Yeah, you know, saying the wrong thing, amen. See. Because that could be the last time. That's right. And it could it could be the last time. Watch what you say. So therefore we gotta learn how to work to bring these tornadoes, these hurricanes that are in our mouths, amen. We gotta learn how to tame it. Amen. That's right. And the only way we can tame it is, you know, through the power of Yeshua. Yeah. But that's still saying something. Amen. Our actions, what we do, or what we don't do. That's right. Amen. See, what we don't do, it's a shame. We better remember that it's going to come a time to say the seeds that we sow. And what we're going to get back. Amen. Those seeds that we sow. Amen. One way or the other, it's going to come back on us. Yes, whether we do good or whether we do bad, it's going to come back on us. Yes, yes. I remember hearing about a story where this person, they always did with you people, always did with you people and stuff like that. And then they thought they found them a partner. They were doing wiki with them and they were all together and, and then this person they happened to get down and they partner that they would did wiki with them did wiki to them. Thank God for 
have you been here with us today. Thank you, Amen. For all of our children, all the viewers, Amen. That tune in to us, Amen. I thank the Lord, Amen. Hallelujah. Again, I thank God for my place of being here. You know, you didn't have to be here, Amen. 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 But I thank God that He allowed me to be here this day. Hallelujah. Everybody have uh, Mark uh, chapter, five. chapter 5, verse Amen. 1. Amen. Amen. Yeshua and his tabernacle arrived at the other side of the lake in the Genesis territory. As soon as he disembarked, a man with an unclean spirit came out of his burial caves to meet him. He lived in the burial caves and no one could keep him tied up, not even with a chain. So those demons are strong. Demons are strong. You don't want to go up there and call yourself tactically a demonic possessed person. They're stronger than usual. Amen. You know, sometimes they can even take several bullets. They're so strong. Amen. Amen. They'll fight. When you go against a demon, amen, you better be prayed up, being obedient to the word of God. Yes. Amen. amen. And, and and you better know that God sent you to do what you got to do. Amen. Amen. That's right. Don't go out there and just pick a fight with a demon. No, God. Hallelujah. Uh -uh. Amen. Amen. No, sir. Amen. 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 You're right. Probably nobody, but I'm talking about these demons. Amen. Amen. Because they extraordinary. I'm not saying be afraid of them. Right when you walk with you, you don't be afraid of nothing. But make sure that you've been called to do what you got to do. That's right. Amen. Amen. Make sure that you walk in obedience to the Word of God. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. He had often been chained, hand and foot. But he would snap the chains and break the irons off his feet. And no one was strong enough to control him. Nobody was strong enough to control him. He was showing you his strength. He was showing you his power. It's a demon. But guess what? There was a man. There is a man that's strong enough to control any demon, yes. to cast out any demon. Yes. He says, night and day, he would wander among the graves and through the hills, howling and gassing himself with stones. Night and day, just wandering, just going about. People were afraid of him. This was an evil person. You got to close to him to attack you. He was full of wickedness. Yes. And we're going to find out there wasn't just one demon in it. We're going to find out there were what many demons in him. Yes. And it was powerful. They are going about destroying things. Mm -hmm. The things that he did, some will be but unspeakable. And I am going to say, my God. 
It says, seeing Yeshua from a distance, he ran and fell on his knees in front of him and screamed at the top of his voice, What do you want with me, Yeshua, son of God, how I am, most powerful God, most high God? What do you want with me? The demons know and recognize God. They recognize Yeshua. They recognize Jesus. Because they're in darkness and Yeshua is in light. They knew that when the light comes, they had to go. Amen. They, they respected the power of God because they know that they, they could overcome God. Amen. He says, I implore you in God's name, don't torture me. Look now, we see the demon doing what? Begging, humbling, humbling themselves before the power and the might of Almighty God. They beg him, don't torture me. Because they know that a day of torture is coming upon them. It's over with. Come on. They know that what? There's a day that they're going to have to end. Amen. And they didn't want it to be dead day. Oh, but, the day is dead. but the day is coming yes. when the demons, the devil, will be destroyed. Hallelujah. And that's why they tremble before God, the power of God. Yes. When they know that, hey, they cannot win this battle. They know they can't win this war. And so you want to ask themselves, why would you want to be on the devil's side and you know you're going to lose? Huh? Why? Why would you choose to do evil and you know that you're going to have to pay for it? Why would you want to do anything that's wicked? You know you got to pay for it. Hallelujah. The only thing you have to do is ask God, forgive me. Hallelujah. Repent of the sins. Repent of the wickedness and the evil that you've done. Hallelujah. Because you can't win. Hallelujah. You can't win. Amen. He says, For you sure had already begun saying to him, Unclean spirit, come out of this man. The guy, when he saw the man coming up to him, he already was telling him, commanding him to come out of him. Amen. And they knew that they had to be obey and they had to come out of that. Amen. I had to obey. Come on. He says, What is your name? What's your name? You should ask him, What's your name? He said, My name is Legion. He answered, There are so many of us. And he kept begging you sure not to send them out of that region. Kept on begging, don't send us out of that. So I had to go there and search and try to find somewhere else to dwell in. And why was the legion? It was over 2,000 demons in one person. Over 2,000 of them. My God. Oh, because see, personally, you didn't want to get Delivered. And so the demon said, Hey, look, you're looking for a place to have called home here. Come on in here, because they don't care. 
Man, oh my, come on in. We got a party vessel here. Come on in. You gotta be careful what you entertain. Oh yes. See, so you gotta be aware of your surroundings and what yes. you're doing. Hallelujah. See, so you gotta you gotta understand that anytime we do a sin, we invite the demon in to come in and help us commit a sin. Amen. Anytime we do wickedness, amen, we invite the demon to come in and say, come on in, and then I'm gonna do this wickedness. That's a demon. See, don't let the devil deceive you and think that you are all right, that you just, oh, well, you're just doing something that's bad a little bit, and you just go up there and ask God and uh, forgive you, and it's all going to be all right and everything like that. Because they're going to tell you, you ain't got to ask God about this little video thing. Because you've been deceived because of the demon of deceit. Amen. You're letting Jesus go. You're letting the peace of Jesus go every time you allow a demon to come into you. Because you say, oh, demon, you come on in. And Jesus, you go. You rather lose Jesus and keep safe. So you're going the opposite direction. Okay. Every time we think wrong, every time we do that that is wrong. You invite the demons in. Yes. Amen. Amen. It's in the word. Multiple, multiple demons. My God. Multiple demons. My God. Yes. My God. Time we reject the word of God, another demon. Mm -hmm. Allow Satan to take over our minds, our souls. See, that will come. The scriptures tell us what? Do no evil. Mm -hmm. Commit no sins. Amen. Church, not taste Taste no sin. Amen. Don't dwell on sin. Bring the what? Our every thought and oh, suggestion. Because, see, these demons are real. Yes, they are. And these days and ages, most people don't want to believe that their demons still exist. Yes, they do. They are real. Yes, sir. And they need demons too. They need anything and everything. See, the sickness. Why was God, what was God doing? What was Jesus doing? He was casting it out. What? Amen. Yes, he was. Amen. Because see, these things are a demon. Sickness is even a demon. Mm -hmm. Amen. You gotta, you gotta pray it out. You gotta get it out of us. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. You can't succumb to them. Amen. Amen. We gotta, we gotta say, hey, get out, get out of me, get out of me. We gotta ask you, get this thing out of me, Lord. I beg of you. Yes. And don't invite these things back into us. Amen. Hallelujah. Everything that we know that's not like Jesus, amen. And that Jesus would be displeased with. We gotta, we gotta get rid of it. Yes. Notice he didn't say clean spirit, get out. Unclean, Unclean spirit. Yes. What does unclean mean? That it's filthy. That it's dirty. Nice. It's nasty. Mm -hmm. 
I'm fit. Come on. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm not Harmful to you. Damage. Why would you want something unclean to be in you? People like well on it in, in filth. You know, demons love filth. Demons love nastiness. Demons are unclean. That way they want to dwell in is in uncleanness. Yes, sir. Thank you, I'll be up with Yes. Now there was a large herd of pigs feeding near the hill. And the unclean spirits bathed him, sent us to the pigs, so that we can go into them. And Yeshua gave them permission. Notice what they had to do. They had to get permission from God even to go into an animal. Amen. They had, to get, they had to get permission from God to go even into a pig, into an animal. Because he was casting them out. Tell them to come in. See. Demons get into us because what we invite them in through our actions, mm -hmm. disobedience. through our disobedience to the Word of God, mm -hmm. we invite them in. Amen. See, they gotta get permission to come into us. That's right. Come on. Show them. See. And by us denying the power of Yeshua, by us denying the power of God, that's what we do. We invite the demons to come on in. Because what? You suck, you suck. They're not going to go, you say, come in. And do it the blood of Jesus. The blood of Yeshua. Jesus. It says, They came out and entered the pigs and the herd, numbering around 2,000, rushed down the hillside into the lake and were drowned. Now, understand this, that if the pigs had no sense that they didn't want something unclean in them, mm -hmm. come on, we as humans, we as people, as children of God, should not want nothing unclean in us. We should not want to be around in filth. No, sir. Amen. We should want to be clean. We want our heart to be clean. We want our spirit to be clean. Amen. Amen. We want to walk in, in the light. Amen. And let that light burn off every evil, every wicked, every sinful thing in us. Amen. Amen. But the majority of the people do not want the light to come in. They don't, they want to reject the light. Yes. <laughs> they want to reject the cleansing power of Yeshua Hamasek. See, that's why we got to be prayerful. Yes, We know we don't just pray for ourselves. We got to pray for others too. We can't have hatred in our heart. Hatred is a demon. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Go around hating people because of uh, how they look, hating people because of the color of their skin. That's a demon. Yes, it is. That's demonic. Yeah. Yay. 
Yeah, I know white people did a lot of things to black people. Black people did a lot of things to white people. And, 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 hey. And black did a lot to blacks. <laughs> mm -hmm. And still doing a lot. And still doing a lot. To themselves. And whites are doing a lot to themselves. Yes, sir. Hatred is a demon. Yes, it is. It's not a god. Hate one because it's Mexican. Hate one because it's Chinese. Can't do it. Mm -hmm. Black people hating light skinned people. Light skinned people hating black, darker skinned people. Can't do it. Can't do it. Yeah. Yes, it is. Mankind is just a mess. Humanity. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a mess. It's just a mess. Yes, it is. Yeah, you know, I do it. Yes, Lord.